Hey guys, this is Colin. I'm back. I do apologize for being missing in action all of January. Uh, a lot of crazy things going on. Really didn't have the opportunity to come over here and do some stuff on the Dynamic Beaver. I'd like to tell you that I'm back now. I'll be posting here on a regular basis. So uh, let's jump straight back in. I have seen a lot of requests for those transparent buttons and uh, coming up on the Beaver Builder forum. So what I thought I'd do is I'd do a quick video to show you how to create uh, a transparent button. Uh, first of all, just on a, on a singular basis. This. So we're going to choose this one up here, and then I'm going to show you how to do it on a global basis. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fire up CSS Hero. It's already in rocket mode, so it's going to it's going to be uh, able to identify all the elements of the Beaver Builder theme. Okay, and as you can see, I'm going to hover over that. Now this is actually picking up this single button. It's a node that uh, this button is in. And actually you can see it there if I hover over it, you can see that it's the FL node and then it's got a, a large number of 548. That actually identifies that single button. So if we make changes to FL node 58, sorry, 548F, so on, it will only change that button. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna click on this option here. I'm gonna click on background. And the nice thing about uh, CSS Hero is you can click on here and you'll have a transparent option. So if I click that, you can see it's gone transparent already. If I click Save, that is all you have to do to get a transparent button. I can obviously do the hover hover effect um, and change that too. So if we go back onto CSS Hero again, select that button and select here. What I'm going to do is just go to the top here. We're going to click on that button and we're going to click the hover option. Okay, now we can go back to the background again and I can change the color of this to whatever I want. So, I don't know. Let's just, uh, I don't like that. Let's make it something contrasty like green or something. There we go. And I click save again. So now we've got the hover effect on that. We could have done that in, in actually Beaver Builder, but there's you, there you can see I can hover over the button. So it's transparent, it's the same color as that background. I'm just gonna go and change the color of that background so you can see. So I'm gonna exit out of CSS Hero. That will bring up my menu again. So I'm gonna click on Page Builder, just to show you that that's transparent. I'm gonna change the color of this heading background here. Actually, it's gonna be the column more than anything that's the background color. And I can't remember where I saved the color on this one. It's not that one. So I'm going to go to the row. Maybe it's actually in the row settings. There we go. There it is. So if I change the color of this to blue, there you can see that the, move this out of the way, you can see that the button's transparent. So that's pretty easy. Eh? It's uh, pretty pretty quick to do that. Uh, next thing we've got to do is change the buttons and all the levels. So I've actually just created a little bit of the, um, a quick bit of CSS for you. So I'm going to publish the changes on that. And right now, if I scroll down, you can see that one's transparent. This one's not transparent. But what I can do is go into my theme settings. I'm going to go down to code. And sorry, it's going to be appearance. And then it's going to be um, customize. When that loads up, I'm going to go into the code section. I'm going to choose the CSS code. Now, I've actually got some code here that I'm just going to quickly copy and put in there. Now, you watch this. So, put that in. I've already identified the element in... CSS hero, um, or actually within the Beaver Builder theme, and it's the FL content, a FL button background color transparent. So if I actually save and publish that, I've also added the important there just to override some settings uh, that I know will cause a problem. So save that, okay, and we'll close that. We're actually still in the customizer. I'm gonna go to the front end here, and I'm gonna do a quick refresh. Right now you can see that button is blue. If I refresh the page, We'll go down here, it's white, but obviously the background, the text is white too. So that's transparent, that's transparent. I don't know if I've, there you go, there's a transparent button down there. That's all you need to do to make every single button transparent. You can still go in and change the color of the text on this button by using the Beaver Builder settings. So I'm gonna go text color. I'm gonna make it uh, blue, Let's get that down to blue. Make it blue there. If we move this out of the way, you'll be able to see, there you go, blue. And that's pretty much all it is to it. So there you go. Uh, you can see the buttons will also change by the color of the uh, background. So that's how to make clear buttons or transparent buttons in Beaver Builder with CSS Hero. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll be back really soon. So uh, keep tuned in, please. Okay, see you soon. Bye.